So one of the last things we have to do on the Customers T11 is drain and replace the shock coil. And this, because the RS5 has a very stiff chassis, it relies on the suspension. Replacing and refilling the oil in the shocks is very important. One has been done already on the front and we are just going to show you how the ones on the RS5 are done. Initially put the cap on, don't tight, don't tight, tighten it up, push the shaft up and take away any residue oil that's coming out. Now, and you check it. What's really important with the shocks is when you push the shaft up that it doesn't release back too much. If it releases back too much then you have to drain a little bit more shock oil so you keep on doing that now luckily with this shock we've been able to um, get it right pretty much first time so you just nip it up slightly and just check it again to make sure it's to your standard and what is important with the shocks is that you get a consistency between all of them so once you've filled oil and made sure it's all right Putting the spring on, really important is that you make sure that the progressive side is on the top of the shock. Okay, then you put the little cap on and make sure that's snapped in place and just push the shock up and down slightly, make sure it's working right, and then you have a shock fully assembled.